Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about how to use skill and what skill is inside the Cadence PCB tools. So skill is a programming language that allows you to, to program um, the tools to make little apps or little software programs to do certain commands inside PCB Editor. There's, uh, there's several examples of this, um, so let's go to the internet. Um, the first one I would say is to look at um, uh, referencedesigner.com. There's an Allegro PCB uh, design skill tutorial that kind of goes through a lot of basics about what you need to do and how to set skill going and some different examples that you can go through. So it's worthwhile having a look at this specific web page. You can, you can do a search, so tutorials, Allegro, Allegro skill, etc. That's the first place. Um, if you go to the Cadence forum, so community.cadence.com, there's actually a, a PCB skill forum where lots and lots of people ask questions, lots of people answer those questions, and there's lots of examples of skill files um, that are available to you that can help you do things. The final one is if you go to the Cadence support site, so you go to um, support.cadence.com, and then you can actually go and do a search. So I'd say go and search for Allegro PCB Editor Skill Code Library. And if we go to the top entry here, the top result here, this actually takes you to um, a group of samples that Cadence have actually provided. So um, again, there's some, some default description about how to do, what to, how to load skill files, what you need to do. And then there's all this, these different samples that kind of go through what you can do. And you can obviously go and uh, download all these files and, and get them what you need. Okay. Let's actually go back to the board and we'll run some skill files just to show you how to do it. So um, when you've got a board file, um, if you've got some skill files, you'll have them in a directory somewhere. You'll get a directory of, of .il files. So um, to load them, we'll type skill at the command line. That then goes into a skill command load, and then we can then start to type the command. So it's load, and then we need uh, commas, and then the full path to where that skill file is. And then you need the name of the skill file that you want. Um, so in this example, Mine is called CL2S.IL. This is actually, I, I got this one from the forum. Um, let's write that in properly, CL2S.IL. And what this does is this will convert um, a C line into a copper shape. Um, might be some examples where you need that. When you hit return with the inverted commas, you'll see a T, which means the skill file has been loaded. So we can then exit out of the command. So what we need to do is then uh, know how to run the command. So if we open the skill file, um, just in a normal text editor, you'll see this AXL command register command. So this is the actual command line I need to type. So CL2S at the command line. So if I come down here and just type CL2S, uh, hit return. Um, it says select a C line end cap. So I can then select the C line that I want to do and you can see it then gets converted into a shape, gets converted into a shape, gets converted into a shape. So that's the active command, right mouse button done to complete that. So there's lots of other things we can do. You can actually um, find information out about parts and stuff. So we'll just do some basics. So let's just do set, tell skill, which brings up effectively like a, a development window for you. This is where you can uh, do some stuff inside skill, inside the PCB editor. So here I'm just gonna make a component list. put it into a components file and you'll see everything effectively has a, a unique DBID number these are all the different objects inside the design database and this is what you can then use if you wanted to process certain objects um, for more information I'd, I suggest looking at the forums and the, and the websites that I showed you at the beginning of this video